Not just GQ, but any, any photo shoot where, where I have to um, model, per se, I think is so much harder than going on to um, a film set and doing, doing film set. I feel like out of my depth here. I think my personal style is, when I go out, I like to wear kind of like a, a pair of jeans and some boots and a blazer, maybe. But yeah, I kind of, I, I feel most comfortable in a pair of skinny jeans and a, and a t-shirt. I like hot rod kind of hot rod kind of custom cars. It's not kind of the Fast and Furious kind of stuff. It's more of the old school, old school classics like the '69 Camaro and the. Um, I really like the 1966 Valiant. That's my that's my new favourite at the moment. I really want to buy one and do it all up. I think the most um, exciting thing would be seeing Cloud Street come out. It's my um, first sort of uh, main role in a, in a in a major production and I'm, I'm nervous and excited. And I just thought, oh well, why limit yourself just to acting? It's, if it's, you know, storytelling in its simplest form, why don't you, you know, write a novella or do a graphic novel or something like that? So, it's a good, I mean, it's a good hobby because it keeps me occupied during the day and it's sort of creatively uh, symbiotic with acting and stuff like that as well, so. Like I just said, it's, you know, if you're dressed up in something quite ridiculous, it's, it's going to be hard to be taken seriously by people. So, if, I mean, I tend to do that sometimes if I'm in a shitty mood or I'm just down the dumps about something or whatever. Um, if you wear something ridiculous, it just inherently picks up your mood. I go through different phases of what I think suits me. Sometimes I think I'm a bit delirious, but right now I'd say, if I had to pick, I'd say it's sort of a balance between preppy and grunge and sort of classic, simple shirts like this, maybe. You know, just something I like to wear. Just, I think simplicity kind of suits me sometimes. Projects, I'm, I'm writing a script at the moment, um, which I'm really enjoying, so that's kind of good for the um, the creative, the creative juices. Um, but apart from that, I like to sing as well. I love listening to jazz. I love singing jazz. I sort of love all the old, you know, the old classics, the old classic, you know, the singers of our time, Frank Sinatra. I love the old films, you know, Gene Kelly and Donald O'Connor singing in the rain. Just all that sort of stuff just makes me fall in love with life. You know, it's so romantic and just beautiful and innocent. That's the beauty of it. That's the great thing about fashion is that it is such a personal thing. I mean, for me, uh, uh, my choice of clothes is often uh, a sentimental or emotional one. Like I often shop if I'm traveling or if I'm in a place I haven't been before and I'll you know, have a look around and find a couple of things I like. And then they're loaded with the experience of that trip or that particular period. So it's, um, yeah, a very, very personal sort of choice. Because uh, this, this mate of mine that I was referring to, he's a drummer as well. So when we moved into this house, we soundproofed the basement ourselves and put two kits in there and thought, right, we're sorted now. Um, but yeah, definite, uh, definite option for a wind down. And uh, I play with a, um, a big band in Sydney and we get together every Monday night for a rehearsal and play gigs around the place. And that's just, it's magic. I love it. It's great fun.